a government that doesn't invest in its own growth will wither and die. And we are close to withering and dying as a country. We've let our manufacturing sector get to the brink of extinction. Uh, we're not investing in anything that's significant to the future. Uh, what the president laid out in the State of the Union, and there were parts of the State of the Union that I was disappointed in, but what he laid out in, in terms of investing in the future, that should be not only a roadmap for the country, it should be a roadmap for every state. So first and foremost, I decided we had to invest in education. And I, I believe that the currency that will determine what countries, what regions, what states have the most viable economy is the supply of knowledge workers. I just had the occasion to speak before the Business Council uh, in Florida last week, uh, and uh, before my panel went on, I listened to one of the other panels with business leaders on it, and all they talked about, they were talking about what factors drive your location decision. Taxes was about fifth. Number one in every instance, and these were some very conservative business leaders, was the availability of knowledge workers at every level at the Ph.D. level, at the engineer level, at the community college level, at the high school graduate level. They want high school graduates with sufficient skill sets so they can do on-the-job training and they don't have to remediate. So I think that strategy paid off and Pennsylvania went from the bottom third uh, in performance on the national test to the top five states. Our eighth graders finished first in reading in the national test. Ten years ago, that would have been unheard of in Pennsylvania, absolutely unheard of. And we will bear, the problem with that strategy is most governors, and I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back here. Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> most governors worry about the next election. If you're going to govern effectively, and my advice to Governor Snyder is worry about where your state's going to be 20 years down the road because that's the only way to really make it work. Set in motion stuff and hope that the things you set in motion are good enough that they speak for themselves and the next administration will just... Uh, um, take them over. And I think there's evidence that that works. In the Brookings report on exports, Pennsylvania was highlighted as perhaps the most creative uh, export program in the country. And my successor put out a press release saying the Brookings report highlighting Pennsylvania as the top export state in the country, top export policy, proves that his administration is on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> they put that out on the ninth day they were in office. <laughs> I was looking for some mention of my own name in the... Nah, didn't happen. But, but so we invested. In 2003, when I took uh, office, we had a... There was a recession, not like the recession we have today, but I inherited a $2.4 billion budget deficit. We had to, you know, obviously bridge the gap. Um, as Secretary Rubin said, we have an obligation to balance our budgets. But I also knew we needed to jumpstart the economy. We put together a $2.3 billion economic stimulus program. Part of that, for example, was $400 million of venture capital, about uh, $250 million of venture guarantees, where we would give guarantees to venture funds, and about 180 to our Ben Franklin partnerships. Um, we're now third in the country in terms of producing VC jobs with VC investments. No accident came directly because of state money. We've spent a whole boatload of money on infrastructure, and as Rob said, it helped to have the stimulus money. The stimulus worked a whole lot better than it ever gets credit for, but that may be their own fault, but, but um, it worked a whole lot better. We're now doing 1,600 bridges at one time in Pennsylvania. Again, unheard of. That's a stimulus money and state investment money through our bonding. And it's the reason why in 2010, Pennsylvania was 11th in job growth in the country. Uh, the next industrial state was 29th. Mm -hmm. Because we spent money. We invested money in our own growth. Is there a company in the United States that has grown successful that didn't invest in its own growth? Absolutely none.